So you've been asked to come for an interview. Congrats! Now we completely understand the panic that can come at the idea of having to put together a portfolio, especially if you're coming from outside of college. So here I put together some tips and tricks to try and help you and to ease some of that portfolio anxiety. First of all, we want you to go away and pick about 20 images. Don't worry if you've got less, but try not to go over. These should be images that show a variety of different skills and different creative techniques. So try not to clutter your portfolio with similar pieces of work. These should be images that you can talk about and get you really, really excited and possibly tell a story about how you came about creating them, what spurred the imagination to create these images. And don't stress about showing a vast variety of technical knowledge. It's not expected. That's the thing that we're here to teach you. We are more interested in your creativity, what your interests are and what you enjoy. So include works that show your interests as well as previous works from other courses if you have any. This can be really important if you're applying for our BA top up. So when going through your images, it might also be interesting to see on how you've developed. This can be through your images or by accompanying sketchbooks. We're really, really interested to see how, how an idea, a spark of creativity goes from a doodle on a page to the finished article. You can also show how you've developed. This can be through your images or by accompanying sketchbooks. This can be through the development of your skills or the conclusion of an ongoing project from how it started to the final images. If you are applying for our BA top up, we would also ask you to bring examples of some critical writing. This can include an essay to accompany your photographic works. This is so we can see how you critically evaluate a specific subject. Okay, so you have chosen your images. Now you need to decide on how you want to display them. This can raise all sorts of questions, including do you submit a digital portfolio or a physical portfolio? Well, at this point, there'll be things to consider. This could be whether or not you are having a remote interview from home over Skype, or if you're coming for a face-to-face -face interview at the university center. It can also depend on your budget or if you're traveling in. There's various things to consider and at this point, this becomes a personal choice. You don't need to go out and buy yourself a professional leather-bound portfolio, but if you happen to have one lying around, why not use it? If you prefer to submit a digital portfolio, you can do so by sending it over through WeTransfer or Dropbox. When it comes to gathering your digital works, it can be as easy as laying the mouse in a PowerPoint presentation and saving it as a PDF document to try and keep them all in nice, one neat place. Or you could submit them individually. At this point, you should think about the order of your images. Is there a story that you want to tell or a progression that you want to show? This can influence the order that your images go in. A digital portfolio doesn't have to only be for remote interviews. You can also bring one if you're coming for a face-to-face -face interview. This might be because of the nature of your images or down to cost. You can also submit them in advance through WeTransfer or Dropbox. You can bring them in on a USB, laptop or tablet. The one thing that we ask is that they're all in one place, one specific folder or a PowerPoint document. So we're able to travel through them efficiently and you're not opening multiple files all at once. If you choose to bring a physical portfolio, you have a choice of how you wish to display your work. One choice is a classic portfolio and sleeve combo, such as this. This is an A4 portfolio document and inside we've got a variety of glycine sleeves. This can be a nice, easy way to transport your work and keep them safe. Another one is a plastic portfolio, a lot more economic and comes in a variety of sizes. If you've already got a selection of work that is in large format, this might be one item to consider. If you're choosing loose prints that you're hoping to pick up and display along the table so we're able to flip through them at no particular order, one thing that you might want to consider is possibly a portfolio box such as this. This is a clamshell archival box. You can find other boxes at different costs. This is a 12 by 16 inch, approximately A3 size. This is quite a nice size to be able to carry around and gives you the option to have loose prints put in gloves or books. Or you can bring your work in a bound book. In some colleges, especially if you're applying for our third year, you might already have some bound book that you've used on previous projects. These books can be really, really easy to do and submit through applications such as Blurb. But again, there is a cost involved. Though we are not expecting you to go out and buy a dedicated portfolio just for this interview. It might be something that you wish to do in the future. We welcome loose prints, simply stored in sleeves, or even a simple display book. 
Another question that you might ask yourself is, what size do I print my images? Well, this is a personal preference. You might already have some large works, and that could dictate the size of your portfolio. But you can always include smaller prints in with those as well. Your portfolio does not have to be one single size. However, if you're conscious over cost, or if you're traveling in on public transport, you may want to opt for a smaller size, such as A4 or A3, for convenience. But again, this is personal choice. The final thing to bring to your interview are some questions for us. These can include concerns or queries that we can shed light on, and it also gives us the chance to be able to explain the course more thoroughly, highlighting things that you find the most relevant. So let's recap. First, pick about 20 images. Don't worry if you've got less. Show different types of creative techniques, and don't clutter your folio with similar images. Pick images that you can talk about. If applying for the BA top-up, include a piece of contextual writing. Choose your format, whether it be digital or physical, and finally have some questions for us. I hope this has been helpful and eased some of your portfolio anxiety. But if you have any queries, please don't hesitate to contact the course leader, David Lockwood, on the following email. So get choosing and good luck. We really, really look forward to seeing your work and you very soon.